This lesson deals with supplemental problem 4.2. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 4 supplemental problems on page 2. Given this circuit, which contains two independent sources, three resistances, and one voltage controlled voltage source, can you solve for the voltage V1 and the power absorbed by this 10 ohm resistance? Let's again write down all the things we can on the schematic and then we'll solve the quantities of interest. Since I know the voltage across the 5 ohm resistance, I could find the current, which would simply be by ohm's law, V1 divided by 5. But that current flows in every element in this one loop circuit, so the voltage across here then would be 10 ohms times the value of V1 over 5, which would be 2V1. That same current comes around this way and becomes another drop of 15 times I1, which would be V1 over 5, that'd be 3V1. Now I can solve for V1, because I can go around this single loop circuit and use Kirchhoff's voltage law. We can start anywhere, but I'll start over here and work my way around in a counterclockwise direction. Okay, so the rise in voltage is 3, the drop is V1, 3V1, 2V1, 30, and 3V1. That's my equation right over here. Let's add all this up. Got 4V1, 6V1, 9V1. Could take the 30 then and put it on the other side of the equation as minus 30 plus 3 or minus 27. And that gives me a value of V1 of minus 3. And again, voltages can be positive or negative. Once we pick a polarity, we then solve for it. Okay, the power that's dissipated in the 10 ohm resistor, you can find a couple different ways. We could do it as V squared over R, V times I, or I squared R. So as we know the voltage is 2V1, and we know the value of V1, let's use that one. So 2V1 squared divided by 10 would be the power dissipated in the 10 ohm resistance. All right, the value of V1 is equal to minus 3, so we're going to get minus 6, square that, divide by 10, get 3.6 watts. So we have 3.6 watts absorbed in the 10 ohm resistance. And this is supplemental problem 4.2.